Okay, I hope you're feeling comfortable with Bermuda Triangle Exit. Now, let's go into the Pleasure Dome. Uh, this is a tune that I put together. It's in the key of C. I'm going to be using a capo, and you'll see why I'm having a capo on the second fret once I start teaching the tune to you. And it came about because um, I was playing quite a few tunes by Frank Stokes, Elizabeth Cotton, and Mississippi John Hurt where they would take a C chord and somehow get melodies by just going up and down the fingerboard with it. For instance, this is a tune called Delia, and watch what happens here. This is it. And I thought, well, what would happen if I tried to compose a tune and taking a C chord and up the neck, bringing it down, and see if I could get something that was interesting, pretty, and lots of fun to play. So here it is, Beyond the Pleasure Dome. Okay, so let's take a look at how I played this. The first section, we're going to take a C chord, but take a look at this on my left hand, how I'm playing it. I'm not playing the C chord with the root note. Instead, I'm putting my ring finger on the third fret of the sixth string. My pinky is on the third fret of the first string. Now, I'm laughing a little bit because uh, if you look at the guitar, that's actually the fifth fret. But since we have the capo on the second fret, let's both, me and you, uh, have an agreement that this is zero, then first, second, third, fourth, etc. Okay? So we have that position. And let's just hear taking that position and listen if we sl slid it up to the eighth fret, bring it down to the seventh fret. Bring it down to the 5th fret, and now bring it down to the 1st fret. And on my right hand, all I'm going to be doing is having an alternating bass between 
the sixth and the fourth strings. And just having that position move up and down. So the melody notes I'm getting, I slide up to the eighth fret and I play that position. the seventh fret and I hit the second string pinch on the first second then I open up the second string so it's easy enough move it down two more so we have keep everything closed there go back down to your C position Lift up that index finger to get the melody note. And we repeat that line twice. So putting it together, the first two lines, as if it was a song, and we were singing lyrics. Slide up, get that nice slide. go to an F chord and this will be a little simpler because we're playing the F chord without thumb oh I don't want to hear any complaints about this get your thumb over there because we need you wouldn't be able to play this little phrase if you were barring um, if you were barring on the first fret playing the F chord you're not going to be able to get that high open E and we have our pinky on the third fret of the second string Hit that, and you're getting that nice, lovely sound. And then you go into a G7, and here I'm alternating between the 6 and the 4, but if you take a look at my left hand here, you notice that I'm playing also with my middle finger on the 2nd fret of the 5th string, even though I'm not hitting it. I want to play the full position so I can pick up those extra vibrations from the string. So we have from the F into the G7. And we're back into the C. So at the end of that, G7 into the C. We do alternate the bass between the 5, 4, 6, 4. So that's the first section, and let's try to play it together now on the split screen. This should be pretty simple, and you'll be able to get a lot of music for a little bit of effort. I like that. 